Oh my God, bro. We try to co-start this thing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah! So we got a wide body charger guys um still has the tent plate on it doesn't look like they had it for um too long what is going on youtube welcome back to the channel guys we're back at it back at it with another back once again with another banger guys i got a quick story to tell guys a good story at that all right so let hit me out right check this out back two years ago I'm gonna get right to it. I ain't gonna hold you guys too long. As you guys can see, this video is not gonna be that long. I'm gonna put you on game. For the ones that's trying to be cheap, it's very important, guys, when you buy a new car or even a used car, it just depends where you buy that used car from. Very important to get gap insurance on your vehicle. The reason why, let me tell you this quick story, right? Back two years ago, my wife was coming back from a birthday party back home in North Carolina. So my wife was coming back home, right, from the birthday party. Um, one thing about North Carolina, guys, North Carolina is pretty country. Now, this Charlotte is a city, but North Carolina, it's a country state, you know? So there is deers everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the winter. Uh, you know, it ain't nothing in the winter to see a deer dead in the middle of the road, you know? So guys, my wife was coming back from the birthday party, right? And um, she was coming down this very, very dark uh, road. It ain't had no street lights. Um, back in Albemarle. Uh, back in North Carolina. So it's pretty dark, guys. Um, so when she was coming, a deer crashed into her Challenger. I'm going to put this Challenger right here on the camera. It was a white Challenger. Now, th this is the reason how I became a Dodge fan when my wife had this Challenger. That Challenger was really, really, really nice, guys. That Challenger had the uh, leather black interior. It had sunroof. It was more expensive than this Challenger. The reason why we went with this Challenger was because I'm not gonna cap, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I like to keep it a band, bro, because I'm a real ass nigga. Listen, let me tell you something. Check this out. The reason why we went with, a, with, a, with the most basic Challenger, because at that time, guys, we was not, uh, in the position that we is now, you know, guys, you got to climb your ladder. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you start somewhere and you work your way up. So at that time, guys, I didn't have no car. My wife only had that white challenger. Um, and you know, we was on a rental for like a whole month. Uh, at that time we was with nationwide. That was the insurance. Mind you, a deer hit my wife. Bumper came out, headlight came out, freaking airbags came out. You know, once the airbag comes out, guys, that is a total car, you know? Nine times out of 10 is total. Once the, once the airbags come out, it's over with. So the bumper came out, guy, headlight came out. I'm talking about the car was ugly. This white Challenger right here that you got on camera, that was her first Challenger. So that car was total, guys. Nationwide. Now, mind you, it was not her fault. It was not like my wife crashing to anybody or she got into a car accident with anybody or anything. This is a deer, a deer hitter. A deer came out of nowhere and went boom, right into her front bumper, bro. Thank God my wife is okay. Thank God my wife, nothing happened at that time. Um, thank God, you know, she was safe um, and she got home safe. But guys, I'm talking about that deer, I'm talking about, bro, it messed up the whole front of this car, bro. Even the airbag from the driver's side, I mean, from the passenger side came out. That was crazy. But anyway, guys, now mind you again, it was not her fault. It was not her fault. She had full coverage, guys. Full coverage with Nationwide. Guess what happened? Nationwide did not pay the full thing. You know, Nationwide did not pay the full coverage. So guess what happened? Gap came in. Having Gap 
it's very important guys very very important when you buying a new car or even a used car when i bought my gt guys i bought my gt from carmax carmax had the uh they offered me um the gap insurance um gap insurance is uh it's like 15 more dollars on your on your uh cart note now mind you some people want to be cheap guys you know let me tell you this 15 dollars guys or 20 dollars or $30, it makes a big difference on a cart note. It makes a big difference. I don't care what anybody say. $20, $15, $30, $25, all that makes a big difference when it comes to you know your monthly payment. Guys, having gap insurance is very, very important. Nationwide did not pay the full amount. So Gap had to come in and pay the car off completely. You know, nationwide paid like half of the car. Um, they pay most of it. They, they pay most of it, but Gap has to come in and pay the rest of it. A lot of people want to be cheap. Let me tell you something. You cannot be cheap with a Scat Pack or Hellcat or with any vehicle, guys, because if you get to a car accident, it's not going to be fun, you know, you paying three, dollars $4,000 out of pocket. That's not fun. You know, nine times out of 10, guys, these um, insurance companies are some BS. You know, insurance company, I think, to me, they are scammers. They are just legal scammers. You know, they're scammers with paper. You know, they see they make it seem legal. At the end of the day, I feel like insurance is a straight scam. Um, guys, it's very important to get you gap insurance, man. Um, CarMax offer it, like big dealerships, you know, who sell brand new cars. They offer um, on gap insurance. If you are buying a used car, guys, when you buying a used car, make sure you ask your salesman, do they have gap insurance, guys? Gap insurance is very important. Take my word. I'm telling you, it's very important to have gap insurance. A lot of people want to be cheap. They don't want to pay $15 extra on their car note. Um, and it's crazy because it do go down like that. You you guys think like, oh, it's just $15. No, people are that cheap. People are that cheap, man. And I'm telling you, if you get in a car accident or anything and your insurance don't pay the full price, that rest... The rest of that money that's supposed to get um, paid is going to come out of your pocket, guys. So make sure you get gap insurance, guys. Gap insurance is not that much. It's only like $15 more on your on your, um, on your your uh, card note. Do it, guys. Do it. It's the smartest thing you look. Matter of fact, there you go. I got another story. I swear to God, this is no lie. Her brother, her brother had this situation. He bought a Lexus, a two-door coupe Lexus, right? He didn't have gap insurance. He totaled the car, right? The insurance paid half a half of what whatever of the car guys the rest of it they threw it on top of his new car loan so his guys he's this man is paying i think bro is paying like almost 800 dollars for a car that's not even worth paying seven eight hundred dollars i'm not sure exactly his card note but we told him we told her brother even my, my wife she told her brother like yo get get um gap insurance get gap insurance and he didn't get gap insurance so what happened was after that car accident the insurance paid whatever they was gonna pay, and they threw the rest of it on his new loan. He went and got a, I think he went and got an SUV. Guys, that SUV is not worth what he's paying for that uh, SUV every month. Um, that SUV is worth way less. But because that car was not paid in full, they threw that the rest of that money, the rest of that money that was on that loan, they threw it on top of the new loan. And now he's paying whatever he owed on the last car plus his new loan. So guys, get gap insurance, man. Do not be cheap. These cars, especially scat packs and Hellcats, these cars are very tempted to race people. You know, you wanna burn tires, you wanna do donuts. Sometimes people crash their Hellcats, not even a month after buying it. So we got a wide body charger, guys. Um, still has the tent plate on it doesn't look like they had it for um too long but so we got the black uh top which is super nice i like how they did the black top but other than that man the back of the vehicle looks good you got the spoiler right here everything looks good actually like you know a auction you know so let's go in the front yeah so you can see the red with the leather which is looking super good man 392 right here and i actually got the window sticker like i showed y'all but we're gonna check that out in one minute so let's go well we can finish looking over here and you can see that their uh airbags did deploy on both sides so you got the driver's airbag and the passenger airbag so um they did hit 
Look at the damage, guys. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Oh, man. Some people crashed their scat pack not even a month after buying the car. So, guys, let me tell you this. Don't be cheap, man. I'm telling you. And if you know, you know. Gap insurance is very important when buying a brand new car. If you're buying a used car, make sure you ask your salesman wherever you buying that used car from, wherever dealership you buying it from, make sure you ask about gap insurance. Oh my God, that's raining so hard. Mm. So guys, I'm telling you, I'm putting you on game, man. Don't be cheap. Do not be cheap with yourself and don't be cheap with your car. This car got gap insurance. It was bought brand new out of the dealership. Hold up, I can't get no love. You didn't give me no love, give me some love. You got closer to me? Mwah. <laughs> new car, who is it? Felicia. Felicia? Really? <laughs> it was bought brand new, zero miles. My car had, uh, well, this, this, uh, the scat pack right now, he got gap insurance. Um, my GT, he had gap insurance. So, guys, it's worth it. Gap insurance is worth it. If you buying a brand new car, make sure you get that gap insurance, guys. I'm telling you, believe me, it's true what I'm telling you. This is like, bro, her brother, her brother went through that situation. He didn't get gap insurance and he ended up paying that money that he, that, that, you know, that the insurance didn't want to coverage, which that's BS guys, because let's say you pay $150 every month, full coverage on your car, right? Every month, every month, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You make your payment on time. Soon you get into a car crash, freaking nationwide or all state, whoever insurance you, you insurance with, they want to play you. They want to make all type of excuses. They want to, you know, I'm like, yo, bro, that's why I pay insurance for. I pay you to coverage me in case I get into a car accident. You know what I'm saying? That's what you get insurance for, for them to coverage you. You feel me? But insurance guys, they, they be playing people, man. So make sure, guys, you get your insurance and you get your gap insurance. Get that gap insurance, guys. It's very important, man. A lot of people want to be cheap out here and <laughs> they end up getting screwed over. They offer this at CarMax. They offer this at any big dealership. I don't know about small dealerships. A lot of dealerships don't have it, but just ask those questions. Do you offer gap insurance? If they do, make sure you get that. Make sure you get that gap insurance. Make sure you get that insurance in your car because if you ever, ever running through any problem, you know, a car crash or you, you know, just as anything happen, you want to be coverage for everything. You don't want anything to come out of your pocket, all right, guys? So take my word for it. I'm telling you, believe me. All right, guys, I'm out of here, man. I didn't want to make this video so long. Um, I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know. I know a lot of people, and I know people right now in the family. My, you know what I'm saying? My wife, brother, he is going, he went through this. He didn't have gap insurance, and he got into a car crash, guys. And whatever the insurance didn't, didn't pay, they threw it on top of the new loan. Literally, they, his new loan is, uh, he went and got an SUV, like I was saying, and whatever, I think, I don't know what, how much money, but whatever money he owed on that last car, they put it on top of the truck loan. And why? Because he didn't get gap insurance. Guys, gap insurance is very important. I'm not lying. A lot of people know this, and if, if you don't know, you know now. Gap insurance is very, very important, especially, especially when you got a nice car, when you got a high performance car, like a Scapa Hellcat BMW Lexus, even this, this is the V6, but I'm not trying to spend three, four thousand dollars out of my pocket if we get into a car accident and, and uh, all state don't want to pay for the full amount. You get what I'm saying? So that's why we got gap insurance, guys. I'm out of here, guys. Take care. Have a blessed week, man. If you are new to the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. That way you can get notified every time I post. And give it a thumbs up if you like the video, man. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, thank you for clicking on this video and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.